Okay, so chapter four will be on the power electronics. So uh, here we will be uh, doing a lot of circuit analysis. Uh, most of the content is on the converter, so DC DC converter. So we are going to use uh, electronics component and, and form it into few circuits that we can use to either step up a voltage or step down a voltage or both. Uh, so this time we will be dealing with DC voltage. So uh, in chapter 4, uh, the main topic is on DC-DC converter. Okay, okay so uh, just a background on this. So DC-DC converter is needed in the case of a power supply. Okay, so power supply is a electric device uh, that can supply electric energy to, an, to a load, as you can see over here, as you can see uh, in this figure over here. Okay. Uh, as you can see in this figure over here, so for example, we have an input of AC 240 and 50 Hz for uh, the case in Malaysia. Uh, we'll go through to a power supply unit or in short we call that as PSU. And as an output, we will have uh, uh, maybe 8 volt, 12 volt or 24 volt in DC. So this is what we use in the, for example, in the uh table fan or uh, any other machine any other machine okay so we are not actually using the ac which is supplied to the uh powers from the power system but uh, most of the appliances is actually uh, using dc okay so for our power supply they will have four basic functions first is rectification so this is where the ac is uh, changed into dc so we have regulation voltage change and also isolation i think uh if you see this figure over here uh you should be familiar with this one uh you uh, i think you have already been uh, at least in okay my internet connection is stable Okay, so uh, you should be already familiar with some of these components over here, filter, rectifier, and regulator. Okay, so for this uh, chapter four, we will we'll be, sorry, we will be uh, focusing on the DC-DC converter. Okay, so this is the AC line input. Okay, and lastly, we will have the DC output. Okay. Okay, so power supply, uh, as you can see over here, uh, I think you can just read this by yourself. And then transformer, uh, everyone should be uh, familiar with this. So uh, tap the input AC voltage level down or up. Okay, okay so for transformer, it must be uh, working in a DC manner. No, not DC, AC. We have to have a AC power supply. And then rectifier, uh, here is when the DA is uh, after being stepped down or stepped up by the transformer, uh, it will, uh, the rectifier will change the AC sine wave into a DC wave. Okay. Uh, there are a few types of rectifier as you already know, but all of them are actually uh, being made up from diode. Yeah, I think you already been introduced to that in your electronics class uh, during your first year. And then lastly, we have the filter to smooth out the DC voltage. And then we have the regulator. So this is to help us to fix, uh, to maintain a fixed or constant output voltage. Okay, so because the load uh, always require a constant voltage. So here is where we got the constant voltage. Okay, uh, okay, so here uh, uh, changes in the load of AC line voltage which causes the output voltage to vary. So we don't want that, so we use uh, either a regulator or a DC-DC converter. Okay, next. Okay, DC-DC converter. Uh, I think this uh, is the new addition to you. Okay, so most modern power supplies contain one or more DC-DC converter. Okay. Uh, so different electronics appliances uh, demand different uh, voltage. So that's why we need the DC-DC converter. Okay, it can change uh, DC voltage to higher or lower DC voltage. Okay. 
So let us resume back on the lecture. So here, DC DC converter, which is a part of the uh, power supply where you got from the EC AC input, you got the DC output. Okay. Okay, so types of power supply unit, there are two main types for this. One is the conventional linear power supply. Uh, so uh, the purpose of it is to provide a safety barrier from the low voltage output, which is uh, typically us, from the AC input uh, and reduce the input from this number to let's say 3 VAC only. Okay. Uh, so here for this type of linear power supply or power supply unit, you will have a low voltage AC output from the transformer. So you have a transformer inside of them. Okay, so this is the uh, equivalent circuit. So you have a transformer here and this is the rectifier part. And lastly, you have the regulator part that will give you the constant AC volt, uh, DC voltage. And uh, lastly, we'll have the load. But uh, there are some disadvantages on the linear power supply. Okay, as you can see over here, uh, most, okay, most uh, problems come from this one because they have a transformer in there. Uh, so it make the PSU big and heavy. And other than that, uh, power loss, and then uh, low efficiency, which is only maximum 60% and only operates at low frequency. Okay, so to compensate this, we have another type of power supply, which is uh, switch mode power supply. As you can see here, it is smaller. So uh, here we can achieve this small um, size because we don't have any transformer in there. Okay, so if you see the equivalent circuit, you will have the AC supply here, the load over here. So we have a rectifier uh, to change the AC to DC. And after that, we have the uh, regulator or DC-DC converter. Okay, so less uh, component, uh, which leads to the smaller size of it. Okay, okay. Okay, so switching regulator. So here, the DC-DC converter or switching regulator here uh, is converting the DC voltage into DC voltage. Okay, uh, And there are three basic types of the DC-DC converter that we will go through in chapter 4. Bug converter, boost converter and also bug boost converter. So bug converter is a step down. So you uh, reduce the DC voltage to another DC voltage. Okay, and then boost converter. So for boost converter, we will step up the DC voltage. And for bulk boost converter, as the name suggests over here, it is combination of bulk and also boost converter. So it can go both ways. You can uh, step up and also step down using the same configuration, circuit configuration. Okay, so the DC, DC, um, um, converter that we will go through here, uh, we are using switching regulator. So this is the keyword over here. We are using switch to control the DC along with other electronics components such as uh, diode, uh, inductor and also capacitor. Okay, so the keyword here is the switch. Okay, so here is the, the, uh, the function of the CDC converter. Please go through by yourself afterwards. 